I know of the history of the Victoria Hall is that certainly since the 1900s it was a venue for concerts and for, for drama. It used to be the local cinema. Um, it was used by the local playgroup. It was also used by the local festival society, the Traditional Music and Song Association. Obviously, uh, it's used by the theatre group and has been since 1979. And we've now put on 40 full-length pantomimes. Cast and crew, majority come from uh, local residents. The audiences uh, originally started off very much local. Um, but our fame spread far and wide and we now get people coming from other surrounding villages and other parts of Fife. We take youngsters from the age of nine, oldest in the cast. At the moment that's probably me, I think, and I'm 70. Uh, we have put people well into their 80s um, treading the boards in the past. It also provides opportunities for local people to be involved in the arts in a whole number of ways. A panto can involve as many as 50 people. You know, they've taken in the, the cast, the crew, uh, the scenery, the lights, all the things that make up a show. We are very lucky to have a lot of volunteers who will give up their time to come and do that. We, we have a youth group. Most of these youngsters have been able to enjoy the benefits of working as a team developing performance skills, uh, it's improved their self-confidence, it's improved their self-image. Being involved in the arts and being involved creatively, there is no doubt in my mind, can help people. They're able to uh, demonstrate skills that perhaps they didn't actually know they had. Um, and I think all these elements can contribute to someone's well-being. We actually are an integral part of the local community. Christmas in Mukti begins with the panto and has for over 40 years. Uh, that family event brings people together. You can actually feel the community spirit, you can touch it.